ECU location is under the front left of a passenger side arch. Passenger side is for left hand drive vehicles. I try to use KS Force through OBD port. OBD port location. KS in this situation can only read, not write. Heat gun will soften the silicon bond. Move it around uniformly. I'm only showing the idea. To actually open it, I need two hands. All the tools you need to remap. I'm getting ready for remapping my ECU. I'll do the EGR, EGR valve off, the DPF filter off, and uh, the throttle body disabled. I hope this will fix my issues. I know it will give me more power. I have uh, soldered uh, three wires here. This is boot and this one is CNF1 blue wire. Um, so the gray the gray one one second this one one second yeah this one is goes here and the blue one goes here cnf1 and this is the boot then the rest connect over here i'll show you i'm locked up in a second on picture so the key tag version is 225 The newer version doesn't work. I have the 2.7 where it doesn't work. So cars, I'm looking for Ford now. Um, should be Galaxy somewhere, but I've checked and my engine is not there. As you can see, 1.8, that's the minimum so i'll go into the cmax cmax 2 and you can see siemens sid 807 and i'll pick file the protocol 511 here you can see the uh, schematics. I think you press here. CIT. One second. Uh, yeah. So 
So it's in this part of the ECU. And then direct connection. Three points for boot. Look out for this transistor. And it's between the transistor and the MCU. You go down and it's the third pin from right at the bottom. As you can see here. Those three wires are all together, connected to each other. And this one is a single, single wire. So this is the way I connected. Orange or red are plus 12. Uh, green is the can low, white can high. As you can see here. Black to black, red to white. Yeah, that's the power supply. Put 13 volts. All right, let's go into the software. Port, CMAX, 1.6, TDCI, CID 807, 3 core, and the peak 5.1 protocol. Let's say OK, or you have select. Microchip, okay, okay, flash not present, blah blah blah. Let's see. Let's do first backup first. First micro, let's see. The lights are flashing. Okay, so it started. It's very slow. <laughs> Four megabytes what it takes. It's taking ages. Now I'm reading EEPROM memory. I just want to see what's the difference 
what's the size difference and that one and this one was quick <laughs> let's put down as the uh, pro desktop no so this one is yes. come on yeah. 64 kilobytes and the MCU the micro is four megabytes. megabytes mm -hmm. wait my file is uh, let's see so I have to put it in micro so four one nine four three three oh four and this one is uh, Four one nine four three oh four. That's the correct one. So now it's this one Windows Ford Galaxy DPF VGR off stage one VSA FR. C51 blah blah blah. So select this one. Open. The lights are flashing again. Hmm, it doesn't have any buttons to confirm. You just select the file and it's starting to write. So be careful. And again, it's very slow process, very slow. I'll stop in a minute and make my tea while it's uh, writing. Mm, it started. Oh, it's going faster than the reading. Come on, go on, don't stop, hey, move, move, move I said. What's the problem? Whoopee. Oops. <laughs> That's a problem. Or maybe not, we'll see. Oh yes, <laughs> finally, <laughs> give me a fright. Oh, 
manual do not stop Taking what twenty point twenty three amps. Okay. 